Hey, it's been a while. Take a look at this. Fascinating, aren't they? Ingenious little devices made of brass and copper and black powder, allowing the user to propel bullet after bullet downrange without the need for time wasting muzzle loading. In CS 1.6, every gun fires some type of cartridge. Can you name them all? Ok, enough with the introduction. Let's get to the point. What are the calibers of 1.6? Actually, first we need to discuss some nerdy terms. If you don't care about this, skip to the timestamp provided. First off, the term tapered means that the walls of the casing are not straight, but rather narrowing down towards the mouth. This is not to be confused with bottlenecking. A cartridge with straight walls is just called straight walled. A cartridge is center fire when the primer, which is the bit you need to hit to ignite the black powder, is located in the center of the base. The opposite of this would be rim fire, which is pretty self-explanatory as well. All cartridges in CS 1.6 are center fire. Next, bottlenecked cartridges are ones that get narrowed at some point. The part with the larger diameter is the case body, while the narrower part is the neck, with the angled part being called the case shoulder. Lastly, there are rimmed and rimless cartridges. This picture demonstrates the difference between them, and as you can see, the rimless cartridges have a groove instead of a rim. The rims are used to hold the bullet in place when in the chamber, while rimless cartridges rely on other features to hold them in place, such as the case mouths or case shoulders. CS uses mostly modern magazine-fed firearms, which use rimless cartridges, because loading box magazines with the rimmed cartridges is tedious due to danger of snagging the rim of the cartridge below while loading. The only exception is the .50 Action Express round. Oh, by the way, there are four models for empty casings. P-shell, used with pistols, a short non bottleneck casing. R-shell, a short rifle cartridge used with rifles and the P-90, while the 5.7 uses the pistol model for R-shell underscore big, used with the bold action snipers, even though the G3 uses the same round as the scouts, and shotgun shell, which isn't even in the damn C-Strike folder, it's in the model from Half-Life, like I've been scrolling up and down the C-Strike models folder for several minutes now, I think I'm blind or crazy, but please why you do this to me? Hello there folks, and welcome back to our program. We apologize for the interruption, let's get back to them bullets. The smallest caliber in CS 1.6 is the 9x19mm Parabellum. It is a rimless centerfire tapered cartridge, designed by Austrian firearm designer Georg Luger in 1901 for the Luger P08. It has been in non-stop production since 1902. Nowadays it's very cheap and widely available. In fact, it's the most popular pistol type cartridge in the world. It has even been adopted as a NATO standard. The name describes the dimensions. The bullet diameter is 9mm and the casing length is 19mm. Parabellum is derived from the motto of DWM, an imperial German weapons and ammo manufacturer. The motto reads Civis pacem parabellum, or if you want peace, prepare for war. In CS 1.6, it's used by the Glock, MP5, TMP and Duelis. Other notable real-world examples include the Browning High Power, CZ75, MP40, Uzi and more. Point 40 Smith & Wesson is an American cartridge developed together by SNW and Winchester in 1990. It's very similar to 9mm with a 10mm bullet and a 21mm case length. 
The buy menu says that the dual is used, even though they actually use 9mm, although there are versions of the Beretta in both 0.40 Smith & Wesson and 9mm. 45 ACP is a rimless straight wall cartridge designed in 1904 by John Browning. It became the standard round for Colt M1911. The name comes from the bullet diameter, which is 11.5 mm or 0.45 inches. ACP stands for Automatic Cold Pistol. 45 ACP is harder hitting but larger and heavier than 9mm, which would result in lower mag capacities and higher recoil. In CS, it's used by the USP, MAC-10 and UMP-45. Notable examples include the Thompson, HNK Mark 23, High Point. High Point. Is this not the ugliest pistol you have ever seen? Or even the FP45 Liberator, which is too hilarious not to be included. Being our first bottlenecked cartridge, even though it spits out non-bottlenecked casings, the 357 SIG was designed by SIG Zauer and Federal Premium in 1994. It's not very popular and can be up to twice as expensive as 9mm. Name-wise, it's not to be confused with 357 Magnum, because they only share the bullet diameter of 0.357 inches or 9mm. In-game, it's only used by the P228. Funnily enough, P228s are only chambered in 9mm and 357SIG is only available for its full-length parent, the P226. Ah yes, one of the calibers of all time. 0.50 AE has a rebated rim, meaning the rim is smaller in diameter than the case body. Designed in 1988 by Evan Wa Evan Evan Vice President of Philadelphia's Action Arms, the bullet is 12.7mm in diameter, otherwise known as half an inch of pure freedom. AE stands for Action Express. I, I literally have no idea. The caliber is ridiculously large, has great recoil and is only used in a handful of pistols, the most famous being of course the Desert Eagle, which is too big and heavy to be practical for use in any armed or police forces. Therefore, it's only really used for target shooting and apparently big game hunting. Honestly, I can't imagine anything cooler than blasting a deer's face to bits with a chrome desert eagle and making goulash out of the meat. There are actually other pistols using this monstrosity of a bullet, such as the LAR Grizzly, aka M1911 if it took performance enhancing drugs, or 8 uranium rods, or the AMT Auto Mag 5. O 5.7 by 28 mm my beloved. It's a rebated, non-tapered bottlenecked cartridge, but you might notice that unlike the previous pistol bullets, this one is pointy. It was designed in 1990 by FN in response to NATO's request for a 9mm replacement and developed together with the P90. It's fast, but more importantly, capable of penetrating through body armor. This however makes its effect on non-armored targets worse, because it only bang, leaves bang. a small wound and flies straight through, instead of getting stuck and leaving you in excruciating stinging pain while you slowly die of blood loss. Hollow point bullets scare me. <coughs> anyway, uh, name is again the dimensions. Uh, in 1.6, the round is used by 5.7 and P90. Other real world examples include the AR 57, which you might know from the Call of Duties, the cursed Keltec P50, the Ruger 5.7, and more. 556 by 45 mm NATO really needs no introduction. It's a rimless, bottlenecked tapered cartridge. It was designed sometime in the late 70s by FN and became the standard medium rifle cartridge for NATO. 
In CS, it's used by the M4A1, FAMAS, GALIL, AUG, SG550, SG552, and the M249. The real-life examples are countless, but among my favorites are the M16, FNF2000, HNK M416, Remington ACR, and HNK XM8. 308 Winchester is yet another buy menu quirk, this time for the Galil. The bullet is very similar to the 762x51mm NATO, more on 762 in a bit. The 308 Galil variant doesn't exist, so it's possible that whoever was adding it confused the caliber with 762 due to their similarity. Keep in mind that the Galil was only added in the version 1.6, being salvaged from the original versions of CSCZ together with the FAMAS and the new hands and arms. 7.62x51mm NATO is a rimless, straight-walled, bottlenecked, full-length rifle cartridge. It was developed in the 1950s as a replacement for 30 r 6 to be used with the M14 and became the rifle and machine gun caliber for NATO. In CS, it's used by the G3, Scout and AK. However, there's a small oversight with the AK. It should be using the 7.62x39mm cartridge, which only shares the bullet diameter, but otherwise is completely different than 7.62 NATO. I mean, the USSR wasn't even in NATO anyway. It seems that the devs just knew the AK used a round called 7.62 and here we are today. By the way, I recently posted about this predicament on Twitter slash X, so go drop a follow. Other real-life firearms chambered in 7.62 NATO include the M60, FNFAL, FN Scar H, etc. On the other end of the scale, we have 338 Lapua Magnum, the largest and most powerful cartridge in 1.6. It was designed in 1989 by the Finnish company Sako, Namo Lapua Oi and the British Accuracy International. In terms of power and size, the cartridge sits between the 762 NATO and the 50 BMG round. It's widely used among armed forces and law enforcement and is also popular with civilians. The CS 1.6 is used with the AWP, even though only its other, longer Arctic warfare siblings like the AWP M, where M stands for Magnum, use the cartridge. 12 gauge is the only shotgun shell in the game. Gauge is used to determine the diameter of a shell. How, you might ask? Well, here's the Wikipedia definition. Yeah. With shotguns, determining the ammo type is a bit more complicated though. You need to consider the size of the pellets themselves. Judging by the number of pellets, we can assume the M3 is using the very common double art buckshot, which holds 8 pellets, while the auto shot uses the triple art buckshot, holding 6 pellets. Fun fact, they both do the same amount of damage per pellet, despite the auto clearly having heavier pellets. The cartridge is used by the M3 and the auto shot, or M4 or XM if you will. Other real life examples include the Remington Model 870, Browning Auto 5 or Frankis Pass 12. Lastly, we have the strange case of the M249. Apparently, it's chambered in 5.56 Parabellum. Now, every mention of 5.56 and Parabellum in the same web page is when they're separately talking or comparing 5.56 NATO and 9mm. So I have literally no idea how or why is the M249's caliber labeled this way. Oh well, I guess we'll never know. Hello, this is editing me. I forgot to record this segment, so Sam will have to do. These are all the calibers in CS 1.6. These are all the ones that showed by the buy menu. And these are the ones that should be in the game if it was realistic. 
Thanks for tuning back in. The last two months have been bad, but hopefully we're back on track now. And I promise you, next time on our irregularly scheduled programming, I will take you on a world tour. See you there. In CS, it's used by the G3. Fucking say G G3 G3. Now biggest bullet. Fuck, I need more bullets. The M3 is using the very common double out back shot. Did I say that correctly? Fuck. Thanks for tuning back in. Could my fucking voice crack? Is this fucking real or fake?